Hey family, it's Ray and I'm back with another word. I pray that y'all are blessed and are having a good day. So today is Thursday, July 27th and I got another word for y'all. The title of this word is going to be your promotion will require you to leave them behind. So for some, the Lord is about to send you somewhere new. He's about to send you to a new location. You're elevating in your life. You could be elevating spiritually. He's moving you um, away from family, friends, environments, hometowns, cities whatever so um, where it comes from a dream okay I saw myself and my sis walk into a restaurant and we were standing at the host area so you know like the stand where you check in and stuff wait we were waiting to be seated then the host came over and ushered us ushered us to our seats except they sat me and my sis at different tables there were about six to eight tables separated into two rows and they were regular sized dining tables that had the two chairs on each side so four chairs total the space seemed really tight then in the front there was another row of maybe three tables that were high tables like a bar height tables that had one chair on each side so it had a total of two chairs per table instead of four so my sis was seated at one of the regular tables and i was seated at one of the high tables i remember turning around looking for her then that's when i realized she was seated at a different table a man walks over a host or maybe a manager i don't know he came over and said we're so pleased you could join us and there was some type of show or performance or something that was about to start so before walking on stage to make his welcoming speech he told me pay attention so we come up he said we're so pleased you could join us and then he said pay attention and he turned he turned around and he walked to the stage in front of a microphone so i turned back around and waved my sis over to come sit with me when she came over it's like the table was too small even though it was set up to accommodate two people when she sat down and put her drink on the table and her plate it's it's like suddenly everything was clustered and the tablecloth was all bunched up and the table itself was shaking and turning it was just a mess it was like she wasn't meant to fit or sit there that was a dream so now i'm gonna get into the message you can't take them with you where you're going we went from standing and waiting to taking our seat but there was a distinction between the places we were seated Your promotion is by the will of God. He will seat you where he deems appropriate and there are levels to elevation. The fact that right before that happened, he said, pay attention, indicated that what would happen next in the dream was going to be significant. So you've done the work. You have completed your period of waiting, standing, training, and preparation. Some may have a ways to go. Others may may also be elevated, but to different levels than you. Again, we both went from standing waiting to being seated the difference was the place we were assigned to sit at and there are no handouts or skipping steps once she came over the table began to shift and seemed extra small even though it was set up to accommodate two people once i waved her over it wasn't fitting this is because only the lord can say who deserves to be in what position there will be some who who you have to leave behind you can't bring them with you sometimes we have an image of who we want to bless who we want to bring up with us who we want to help but ultimately it is up to the lord to say who goes with you and who stays or who stays behind there may be extra work or training that certain people are required to do in order to meet you where you're going at this point i'm reminded of joseph when he was reunited with his siblings at first they weren't even able to recognize who he was and this is talking about the brothers who tried to kill and sold him into slavery joseph was elevated to the highest position in the land besides pharaoh Everything and everyone was was under his command, and that's finances, resources, food, and such. And it goes on to mention how Joseph sent word to to retrieve his one brother, Benjamin, and bring him and his father back. The Lord is also um, saying now that some people that you're separating from, he's sending you ahead of them. So it it may be a separation now. Um, Again, like I said, how I weighed her over, that also could indicate there's a separation as far as your elevation he's sending you ahead of them to be just like joseph he was a source of basically god sent god sent joseph ahead to preserve and that's in one of the scriptures i'm going to read but to preserve life for his his family so for some of you the separation may be for a season but it's because he's sending you ahead to prepare a way to prepare a place um for your family or for those whatever assignment that he's sending you out to begin or to start and um who who it is there that you're going to be helping and so in the scripture the first scripture he led me to was luke 14 and i'm gonna start at verse 7 and it goes through 11 um and it says now jesus began telling a parable to the invited guests when he noticed how they had been selecting the places of honor at the table saying to them when you were invited by someone to a wedding feast do not sit down to eat at the place of honor 
since a more distinguished person than you may have been invited by the host and he who invited both of you will come to you and say give this man your place and then in disgrace you you proceed to take the last place but when you are invited go and sit down to eat at the last place so that when your host comes he will say to you friend move up higher and then you will be honored in the presence of all who are at the table with you for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled before others and he who habitually humbles himself will be exalted so that's luke 14 7 through 11 amplified version and so I'm going to get into the ver to two chapters in Genesis where it talks about the story of Joseph where, like I said, his brother sold him into slavery and um, he was eventually, we know, uh, elevated to a position of authority. And there is a point where the Lord brings his family back to be reunited with him and he reintroduces himself to his family. So, so the first one is Genesis 43 and I'm going to start at verse 27. He asked them about their well-being and said, Is your old father well, of whom you spoke? Is he still alive? And they answered, Your servant, our father, is in good health. He is still alive. And they bowed down in respect. And he looked up and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's only other son, and said, Is this your youngest brother, of whom you spoke to me? And Joseph said, God be gracious to you and show you favor, my son. So this is what he said to his brother Benjamin. Then Joseph hurried out of the room because his heart was deeply touched over his brother and he sought privacy to weep. So he entered his chamber and wept there. Then he washed his face and came out and restraining himself said, let the meal be served. So the servant served Joseph by himself and his brothers by themselves and the Egyptians ate with them by themselves because according to the custom, the Egyptians could not eat food with the Hebrews. Now Joseph's brothers were seated by the steward before him in the order of their birth the firstborn according to his birthright and the youngest according to his and the men looked at one another in astonishment because so much was known about them joseph selected and sent portions to them from his own table but benjamin's portion was five times as much as any of theirs so they feasted and drank freely and celebrated with him and that was genesis 43 and i'm gonna go down to genesis 45 starting at verse 1 and this this part is talking about him revealing reintroducing himself to his brothers then joseph could not control himself any longer in front of all those who attended him and called out have everyone leave me so no man stood there when joseph revealed himself to his brothers joseph wept aloud and the egyptians who had just left him heard it and the household of pharaoh heard of it then joseph said to his brothers i am joseph is my father still alive but his brothers were speechless, for they were stunned and dismayed by the fact that they were in Joseph's presence. And Joseph said to his brothers, Please come come closer to me. And they approached him, and he said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold into Egypt. Now do not be distressed or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. For God sent me ahead of you to save life and preserve our family. God sent me to Egypt ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant on the earth and to keep you alive by a great escape. And then down to verse 14, it says, Then he embraced his brother Benjamin's neck and wept. And Benjamin wept on his neck. He kissed all his brothers and wept on them. And afterward, his brothers talked with him. And then 22, it says, To each of them Joseph gave changes of clothing, but to Benjamin he gave 300 pieces of silver and five changes of clothing. And so that was Genesis 45. And when I was reading that, he, had me, he was highlighting Benjamin how joseph favored benjamin he he preserved life yes for his for his entire family um they they benefited from the position that joseph was in ultimately he forgave them and you know it was the, the lord's will to to for joseph to have been sold into slavery and he used it for you know his good but <laughs> joseph forgave his his brothers and they did bow down to him like he told them he didn't even know that that's what his dream meant but that's what evoked their anger their their desire to kill him was him sharing that part of his dream with them was that he told them basically in the dream that they bowed down to him and so you could see in you can see the favor that he had for benjamin again it also highlighted in the scripture that benjamin was his only brother his full brother so they had both the same father and mother which their mother was rachel their father was jacob benjamin is the only brother that he had with that was his brother from his mother which is rachel so rachel and jacob birthed joseph and benjamin and so also you can like i was saying you can see that the favor that joseph has for his brother benjamin and everything he he gave benjamin 
you know, greater portions, um, even though they all benefited, he gave Benjamin greater, greater portions. So I'm going back to verse 34 in Genesis 43, and it says, Joseph selected and sent portions to them from his own table, but Benjamin's portion was five times as much as any of theirs. And then I'm going to go to Genesis 45, verse 7, and it says, For God sent me ahead of you to save life and preserve our family. God sent me to Egypt ahead of you to preserve life for you, a remnant on earth, and to keep you alive by a great escape. And in 22, it says, To each of them, Joseph gave changes of clothing, but to Benjamin, he gave 300 pieces of silver and five changes of clothing. And so again, that just, that just further highlights his favor specifically for his brother Benjamin. And so, like I said, for some, the Lord could be separating you from people who you really, really, really love, um, who you who you may really be close to. And it's not that they're bad for you. Some now, some people they are bad for you. Some just like his brothers wanted to kill him. They intended to kill him. You know, the Lord be separating you, removing you from people, places and environments that are no good for you. But some essentially is for his will and for his the Lord's purpose. And some people you will be reunited, reunited with the Lord is sending you ahead of them in order to preserve life, just like it said in the scripture, for these people. So the Lord gave me this word like a couple of weeks ago, but I saw today, earlier today, maybe like an hour or two ago, I saw a word from Chelsea J. I don't know if her YouTube name is Chelsea J, but her name is Chelsea. And um, I'm going to put her video link in the description box because he confirmed that like her word was confirmation so go check her word out she also has more in her word too so check her word out as well i'll put the link i'll put the link in my description box so go look at that but yeah test the spirit behind this word take this word back to the lord to have the lord confirm for you give you further details insight and instruction but for those of you who this word is for that you are being elevated in a part of your elevation the lord is moving you he is relocating you who he is sending you to a place for his purpose and you are about to be seated in places of honor so share this word with anyone who you feel may need to hear this word don't forget to like comment and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here again don't forget to check out chelsea's video i'm gonna put her link in the description box the scriptures will be in the description box as well if you're new here don't forget to hit the notification bell like comment and subscribe and i'll be back soon with another word